Hi there, as you may be able to ascertain, I voted to leave the EU, for Britain to leave the EU. And that's not because I'm a fan of Nigel Farage, although I agree with some of what he says. And it's not because I want to oppose David Cameron, although I do. And nor is it because I found the economic arguments persuasive, because I don't think anyone can divine the future. And before you ask if I care about the animals and environment, yes I do, that's why I'm a vegan. But the Nazis had policies to protect the animals' environment, and I didn't support them. And I don't support the EU for the same reason I don't support the Nazis. And that's because the EU is based on, its, on oppression. For example, Europe's 1994 Units of Measurements regulations led to the persecution of Steve uh, Thoburn and other traders for not selling things in metric units. This is a violation of a person's property rights and freedom to engage in a peaceful business. And I don't give a fig about consumer protection. If he wants to sell his produce in buckets or condoms, that's fine with me. I just won't buy from him. But to suggest that people should be subjected to kidnapping by the agents of the state, public humiliation, and ultimately being extorted to pay fines or go to prison is despicably immoral. And that is what you're supporting when you support the EU. And many other people carrying on peaceful business have been persecuted by the state for not doing it according to the regulations. It's put people's livelihoods at risk and it's damaged business. And, you know, just think about what's on the tail end of that, probably broken families, etc, etc. You see, the EU is just barefaced fascism. It may be fascism light, but nevertheless, it is intolerable wickedness. And I judge a person or institution by the bad things they do, not by the benefits I or anyone else may obtain from such. I also don't imagine for a second that my vote's really going to do much to change Europe. The realities are that people are essentially uh, beholden to the state and they believe in oppressing each other. They believe in having these rules, having the police going round and controlling uh, people who they think aren't doing things properly. It's the nanny state. It's an obsession with controlling others that is deeply ingrained into the European psyche. Just think about the colonialist era and the, the obsession with uh, making everybody live the English life and so on and so forth. Uh, it's like feudalism. Every Democracy just makes everybody become like the king and makes everyone into a wannabe ruler. And it is, it is the social decline that is occurring in Europe and is going to be an absolute disaster. And it's central planning as well. Central planning doesn't work. It's fundamentally a, a, a sort of a socialist idea. Um, and it's been proven again and again to be inefficient and economically destructive and ultimately oppressive.